Just want to give you some quick thoughts on the changes to the Phillies Astros trade. Big news obviously is, is that Mark Appel, the former number one pick in the draft, uh, is going to go to the Phillies in this deal instead of Derek Fisher. Now that's notable for one, obviously, because it was the former number one pick in the draft. But I don't think it actually changes the dynamics of this trade dramatically. Derek Fisher, Mark Appel are roughly equivalent prospects. I, we had Appel slated to be slightly ahead of Fisher on our Astros top 10, but it was not a dramatic difference. If you're the Phillies, you're hoping that you can take Mark Appel and unlock whatever it is that turns Mark Appel into frontline ace that you kind of been hoping for. At the same time, the Astros have an excellent pitching development staff. Their pitching coaches up and down the line are very good at what they do, and they were never able to do that. So there has to be some worry that maybe you're getting back-end starter, very durable one, but back-end starter instead of future frontline ace. But if you're the Phillies, hey, you're taking that risk, and look at amount, the amount of arms that they have brought in recently. Mark Appel just adds to that list, and obviously you got Vince Velasquez and Brent Oberholzer in this trade as well. So the Phillies are really stocking up, and for the Astros, Mark Appel wasn't their best pitching prospect. Mark Appel wasn't their second best pitching prospect. Mark Appel wasn't their third best pitching prospect. So this is a deal they can do. And even with giving up Velasquez and Appel, they still have a very deep pitching, a list of pitching prospects in the minors. So a fascinating trade gets even more interesting.